Very important to remember. Oh, of course, wreck it. Oh. Right. We could theoretically use this or even this to make it so that it's going to kill Ash. Because if we, so if we frostbite Ash, if we frostbite Ash, he kills his own Ash. Like that reckoning move kills his own Ash. We lose, a, we lose like you know, these things. But he loses the ash, which I I will take I will take the trade. Bearing in mind this is still our attack move, so we now play this here, so that we are just forcing down our opponent's resource and then getting more things on the ball. Ah, oh, even elusive does. I mean, hello, Gomez here for the lineup channel again with another deck for you today. This one actually is involving uh, a kind of old concept that I did, which was involving Twisted Fate with Tribe Beam. So it's Twisted Tribe Beam. Well, let's get into this. So actually, many like patches ago, I actually experimented with the idea of using Twisted Fate and Tri-Beam. Now, what it was, what you need to remember, so the way that I experimented with it, because I mean, don't get me wrong, obviously Ezreal and Draven make a lot of sense because they're both free cost champions and they're both, like, even like the Whirling Deaths, which then come off of Draven, it, it, there, there's additional like things in there that make a lot of sense. Right, so this one, because I kind of wanted to move away from Noxus, not saying that Noxus is bad, Noxus is actually a really good control way of using that deck and like it gives you different options. So I've decided to go with Ezreal and Twisted Fate. Uh, the initial deck actually was a Teemo, which it was it was, it was called um, the Mushrooms of Fate or something along those lines. Anyway, the point was that we actually played Peddler uh, because budget, because Peddler is a free cost unit. So we, would, we used to play Peddler in that deck. But this deck I've decided to go with um, Twisted and Ezreal. We are, so in terms of, as you can see, there is a lot of free cost stuff going in here, as well as the fact that once Twisted is played, the other copies of Twisted Fate become a free cost card, free cost burst speed of uh, pick a card. So, yeah, again, that can really help with the tribe beams. But what's really good about tribe beams, if you didn't know this, is that obviously if we use counterfeit copies on top of a tribe beam, it actually can increase, like, if you, if you get a tribe beam up to, um, like, six seven eight whatever the hell um the ability to actually counterfeit copy it, it will stay at that level all the copies that are made through counterfeit copies will stay at that level so that you don't have to then re-level them up again because that's one of the main problems with counter with with tribe beam is that once you level them that you only get the one like of that level then obviously you got the other to which it finishing so this one is actually kind of you're just using continuous tribe beams by counterfeit copying the big ones and that so as you can see, a lot of free cost things. Because we are running a significant amount of spells, and because um, pick a card, there's also the chance of getting more pick a cards um, off of Twisted Fate. Uh, you, you need to remember that a lot of things have to be quite cheap, and they have to be very fleeting. Like because of the fact that they they will make so you need to kind of like keep things cheap. So that's why there's nothing really past four, because. It's just gonna be problems for you later on in the game. We do have uh, make which is make it rain, which is gonna help level Ezreal. So, for example, like you know, what you could say is like, well, you, you've got things like make it rain, you've got twisted red card, you've got um, things like that. Why? And you've got like a uh, ballistic bot. Why not run uh, Riptide Rex? You could totally put a Riptide Rex in this deck, by the way. You could actually, you could make, you could move a few things about, and you could put Riptide Rex in this deck. The main reason he's not in here is because. Pick a card, if you got Riptide Rex, you'd feel really bad because you'd be burning him off. At least with these kind of cards, you're in an okay space. So we're going to quickly go through. Jury Rig Widget with Rummage, even if you... So if you get that on Fleeting, it doesn't matter because it just means you're going to summon a Jury Rig. But it gives you that ability. As well as the fact that obviously the Ballistic Bot, his Ignitions can also be rummaged away. Um, if you get something stupid from uh, the Black Market Merchant, the options are there. So because we've actually got a number of different spells... We're running an assembly, but it's a free cost unit, so it's going to help level up Tribe Beam, as well as the fact that every single spell that we use is just going to start buffing that up. Ezreal, he starts off initially as a free cost, so it's all good, and then he starts making Mystic Shots, which means that you can level him up through there, but obviously I said you've got the Make It Rain option to also level Ezreal. 
Running Flash of Brilliance. It's a free, which it's it's a basically for free ability of leveling up tribeam i did think about running three of these but i wanted to cut to put something else in so i, I believe i put a third version of this because i think i originally originally had this deck with three copies of make it rain but because ezreal just the targeting that happens off of there you kind of want to be trying to maximize it as much as possible so that's why i put three copies in we've got which could uh pick a card you got two copies of that because more copies can come from twisted so you can potentially level twisted quite quickly um pilfered goods you've already got a a black market merchant because you're running the ballistic bot the ignitions can potentially just get that off immediately um we're not running which we're not running the other uh which it member of the nab package because we are more in pnz than we are in build war so the allegiance is very rarely going to hit uh, we've got which it's slot bot because yet again because you're using pick a card because you've got like these dredges because you've got rummage because you're trying to level twisted fate which is all about draw and because this caught this bot is a free cost bot which means it's going to help with tribe beam that's what helps there then obviously you've got the draw bot here as well so it's all it's all for tribe beam it's all for tribe beam this whether or not this is going to work or not we're going to find out it used to work back in the day whether or not it still works now we are running no landmark removal let's bear in mind that is important that we're not running that like in terms of that, like the knowledge that we don't do that so that um there is a lot of like grand plaza decks going around at the moment in time so there is problems with that but we will see how we do anyway please let me know what you think about this deck down below in the comment section as well as the fact that like you know if you haven't already shameless plug time twitch twitter and instagram if you, know, you can catch me live on twitch on monday's stream Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays, uh, UK times in terms of the time slots that are on there, as well as the fact that there is the Discord down below. The link to the Discord is down below. I have also started quite recently a podcast with Janky. Janky's an amazing Legend of Runeterra stream streamer and content creator as well. So if you want to like go check out that pod podcast, it's called Voices of the Old Ones, and the link should be down below in the description as well. Please send that some love because we're planning to do that bi-weekly, hopefully, but we'll see how it goes. All these options, why not get involved? I hope you enjoy yourself and enjoy this time on the channel. Anyway, without further ado, let's get in and see how this deck does in a couple of matchups. They are playing the count. They are playing like the legitimate standard version of this deck. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get rid of the Jerry's. I might end up regretting getting rid of those Jerry's because immediately we have actually a number of things that could work with them. So I might end up regretting the Jerry's. I might end up regretting getting rid of the Jerry's. I'm not gonna lie. That is gonna be big, much regret. Um, we could play this. We could play this onto the board. Um, I'm actually not going to. I feel like the, the plan is a pass. I'm assuming that our opponent is running um, Thermal right now. Like they might be thinking about playing Thermal. I don't mind slot bot, like sacrificing slot bot to this. I need to, I need to find my tri beams. I need to, okay, so no, he just, he just straight up has, um, what's his face? Ravenous Flock, doesn't he? Straight up has Ravenous Flock. Or he doesn't. <laughs> Oh, okay, there's our tri beam. Okay, right, so we can actually level this tri beam very quickly. Don't blink. So oh, you miss me. we can play Ezreal as counter to Ezreal. Uh, they could have thermal. They could have thermal, which is admittedly a problem. But we are leveling this tri beam. We can go into a flash of brilliance, which then goes into yeah. So he's he's probably got thermal or something like that. So, yeah, I was gonna say he definitely has counter here, right? So we can throw that in. Ooh, that's not that's I mean that's not what I need, but it's interesting. I guess we, I guess we throw the make it rain out. Make it rain at least means that we get a lot of targets here, right? So we're not gonna kill Ezreal, but at least we're giving him like two targets, so I I can live with that. I can live there. It's a massive shame. Maybe we should consider running a few copies of Thermal in this deck. Because admittedly our deck doesn't run Thermal, so we should probably consider. Should probably consider it, I'm not gonna lie. So I've got, we've got that up to four. He most, he can't you he can't actually use that mystic shot at the moment. He can't use that mystic shot, so it's okay, it's okay. But we do, we are gonna need to cover that. Okay, right. So, twisted fate going into red card gives us options in terms of the fact that if we if we do this going into red card, that dies. Ezreal ends up on one health, and we potentially can find something which is gonna help us out with that, right? Potentially find something which is going to help us out with that. It's of course time. it's Draven time. It's always Draven time. Uh, we have, so we're just attack forward for. here. We attack forward here because the only thing he's going to defend with is potentially Draven, if anything. And we know that this is up to four. We could actually go for any, uh, a, a bit of a draw move, but I want to see what a top deck 
to see whether or not I top deck another make it rain or something which is going to be somewhat handy. Certainly not. Right. So he's going to be going. He's going to be going for killing uh, Twisted Fate. He's going to be going for killing Twisted Fate. So my plan here is at least hoping. So I've got another Ezra. I mean, it's not what we're looking for. It's not what we were looking for. I was honest to God looking for another make it rain so I could stop this. Because that just gives him the mystic shot that he needs to keep, do the kill. Our question is, do we just keep leveling tribe beam here? Do we just keep leveling tribe beam? Because there is like no downside, I guess, to doing that. Because he's gonna, he, he, throw, he throws it into Twisted. Like that is that is where that move goes. Without a shadow of a doubt, that move always goes into Twisted. But it's okay. So. My mind here is thinking, do we get an additional draw off the budget for like, helping there? But then it means, are we going to get rid of the which it, the uh, uh, assembly bot? Is the assembly bot really doing much for us right now? Probably not. So I'm actually gonna gonna do that because what we what we need to do is we really need to be trying to find a um, what's his face at this point, right? We need to be trying to find a. Um, Counterfeit copies, that's the word. We're trying to find a counterfeit copies because we can find counterfeit copies right now. We can end up in an okay space, especially considering the fact that we're getting closer and closer to a Farron move from our opponent. Considering the fact we're getting closer and closer to a Farron move, we need we need to have the options to counter. So Twisted yet again goes down with red card and this time he can actually kill Ezreal, which isn't too bad. I'll, I'll take, I'll take killing Ezreal here. a fair game or played one. So we kill his Ezreal. We then play. We could play our Ezreal. We kind of need to be careful with the mana here. We need to be careful with the mana here. If our opponent just spanks a bunch of mana down, we could throw our Ezreal out and still get a Mystic shot off of him. Okay, right. So he's gone. Gone with that. To be fair, it's a big man move. It's a gamble. It's a gamble asked. of playing. Ezreal here because he could still have thermal he could have like a bunch of different things right that could cause us significant problems significant problems but we, we let happen we then go forward just with Ezreal to get the mystic shot that we need to see we've got, now we've got the option here do we kill Draven which does mean that we lessen the chance of whirling death we just we just want to lessen that chance of whirling death true it means we've still got like a damage coming into us there but we've still got damage that we can put into our opponent as well so it's not too bad it's not too bad it's not the best but it's not the worst we also do still have these these things going on here we might not actually find what we're looking for so what we're looking for obviously as i said is the uh counterfeit copies but we might not find it so there's Farron. There's Farron, which we could at least do six damage to him. Part of me kind of, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see what I can steal from my opponent. I'm gonna see what I can steal from my opponent first. We could have actually gone for a tri beam of two as well, by the way. Yeah, we know, we know our opponent is trying to get us into a kill move now. So we don't mind this guy in here, and. We could, we could go all the way down to seven. I mean, all our opponent needs to do is throw two, two of these decimates at us. So if we keep up, actually, I feel like we do that in there and this in here. We keep ourselves alive on 10 mean that we, we, it just means there's a little bit more our opponent has to throw into that. I, I would accept these charges. I mean, admittedly, he does actually have an ignition and he's got the ability of getting more, more stuff on. Okay, right. So, a, a cheaper tribe beam, which does actually mean that this tribe beam levels the other tribe beam as well, by the way. The only problem is that it's probably going to be better to use this tribe beam to kill Farron right now. It's probably going to be. So, how close is Ezreal? Ezreal, he's near enough there, but I feel like there's, there's not enough going on in this hand that I need. I basically need to do this. As much as he wants to keep that six cost. Like to be able to then use the counterfeit copies on. I've got these options here. Stop me from being able to do that. Oh, double attack. Double attack minion coming in here as well. How close is so twisted? Twisted years away as well, by the way. Twisted years away. So it's not like it's not like we even have that going for us. So we could level Ezreal right now. Like we could go for 
um, immediate like a kind of like level of Ezreal. Part of me feels like what we do here is we literally just go forward with everything because he's got to stop. He's got to stop a lot of different things right now. He's got to stop a lot of different things right now. We could then use the make it rain. But it's not, it's not too bad, that move. Go for using the make it rain move, which then kind of like opens us up. Yeah, so we, we go like this. We then use the make it rain move, which then goes for open it. Oh, he's, he's making the decisions here. He's making the decisions. Is he gonna go? Is he gonna try to go for a kill? I feel like he kills. He kills Twisted. I feel like he's got like a Mystic or something. But any mana that we're taking away from Decimate, I will accept. Okay, so Ravenous Flog. That's fine. I mean, it's not fine, but it will do. So we might as well just throw this in now. Throw this in now. It means that boom. That is the level on top of Ezreal, which means that we've got. We've got damage, right? We've got that. We've got a mystic shot and we've got ignition. So that might just get us past this to the point of victory. Only just maybe. Bear in mind that I said like our opponent is running. Um, is running a number of things which could be problematic, but we shall see how we do. So immediate, immediate damage. Immediate damage coming in there. So... <gasps> It's okay. It's okay. We can, we can take, we can take, and then we just throw the mystic shot in. It's death, right? Unless, unless, is there something that our opponent is? I mean, this this should just be death, right? Mystic shot and death, just in case, just in case. I want to see what our opponent does here. I feel like I feel like they might, because I mean, all they need is Mystic and get excited, right? All they need is Mystic and get excited, which they could. Okay, now now it's less now it's less likely. Do do we prolong their torture? I mean, I don't really want to prolong their torture, but I mean, he's, got, he's literally just going. Fuck, 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 fuck. But death has come for him. I mean, I don't. You know what? This was more lucky than anything, because they're actually a more considerate, they're a more considered like meta deck. And somehow we managed to control our way through this in an okay way. I mean, admittedly, dick move on my part. Dick move because I could just immediately just throw this mystic into his core and kill him. But you know. You go you, you go the stupid way sometimes, don't you? Just, just to let him know. Just to let him... There you go, he knows. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was BM. That was honest to God BM. I should have done it. Okay, so yeah, so Ash... Which is Ash, Riven, and, and Sejuani. Ash, Riven, Sej. Good good combination, because I mean, like, it's just adding just that Riven into the initial, like, you know, Ash, uh, Sejuani combo. Feel like... Part of me always wants to keep this. Actually, I'm, I'm going to get rid of... I'm going to keep these two. I'm going to keep these two working together. Potentially go for a quick level up on the on the twisted, like if we can. We do also like pick a card just works with um, slot bot as well. We haven't really got many. I wish that I had a Jerry rig right now. Jerry rig would be the most funniest counter, but sadly we do not. Um, frostbites, frostbites are unfortunately a thing. So, potential frostbite, troll chant, anything along those lines. Less learn. chance of that now. I mean, brittle steel, actually, sorry. Brittle steel is still a thing. Yeah. So, not gonna lie. It's not what I needed to see. It's not what I needed to see. So, because the problem is, I just, the plan there was at least to remove that from, this, from his side of the field. But he now kills Ezreal because it makes it. Ooh, that gives us options. A chill in the air. A chill in the air. He's gonna, he's gonna, he's going to woo the day. Woo the day that he didn't just go for the open. Because the open attack was actually, I mean, potential troll charm. Troll charm. He's gonna woo the day he did not just go for the open, grab Ezreal move there. And then we just throw the other Ezreal. Not and ready. I mean, not the best. Not the best, but we can still counter at least one of those. On the trail. So we go for the one with more health because we know that we've got make it rain and things like that in the deck. So, you know, we, we're still going to be taking significant damage, but I kind of want to keep twisted. We know that we've got some draw mechanics going on. Uh, we could just attack forward immediate. I mean, 
Troll Chant is a thing, and miss. so that's why we don't attack forward with uh, Twisted. But we can attack forward with Ezreal, which gives us... Yeah, again, potentially Brutal Steel again. Culling Strike! Culling Strike. I mean, we always knew that the, the options were here. The options no were always going to come for us in the end. Um, it's okay. What we can do is... So, if we want to go for a quick, quick level, we could potentially just throw... Throw this back. Stack in the odds. Stacking the odds indeed, my friend. So that is gonna get him up to uh, three plus the other one. So uh, five. And then sadly we might act, oh, oh, I feel like we get rid of, uh, as, as much as he doesn't want to get rid of Flash of Brilliance, I feel like I just get rid of Flash of Brilliance there. Cause it just means that we are basically gonna level Twisted next turn. Which means that we get the options I mean, oh, oh, it's disgusting. So make it rain, make it rain. Cause I mean, I mean, we could have technically, we could have technically actually done the rummage move first. The rummage move first would have actually been the better play. Okay. So although we are going to be losing, uh, although we're going to be losing twisted we can at least level him before he goes so i want to still be playing the black market merchant because i really do want to be getting those cards up but then also i kind of want to be playing pick a card i might actually have to get rid of i i, I might or do we just throw no no we want to be throwing sight on the board here because we want to be defending that yeah our health is not doing too good sad Gotta sad times don't you winky face me we can level, we can level Twisted, so at least Twisted's leveled. I can, Looks I like can accept that. Streak. I can accept that. We can now just go into the fact that, so Twisted dies, they all die. Upset times, but then we Black Market Merchant, which means that we can at least defend ourselves while also drawing a, which it while also drawing something out of our opponent. Oh, that's a big card. Um, so yeah, we, we, we've got to block that. We've got to block that. It's just, it's just like, we know. Slop, look at that. Imagine if we could have played Slotbot this turn. Such a shame. Such a shame. Um, play him. Give it a whirl. Start, start to boost this up. Tall as a mountain and covered in ice. I feel that as much as he wants to play, actually, or do we? As much as he wants to play, I actually, I just saw it. Actually, no, 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 no. We got, we play it. No, 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 no. Shit. My options. I really do want to be. I want to be playing pick a card. I want to play pick a card. Um, I feel that we do this on top of the ballistic bot. I now I'm gonna wait to see whether or not my opponent does something. If they don't, if they pass back, we just yeah okay right. We play we play glory seeker. We get rid of we get rid of his yeti. We get rid of his yeti because uh, we we need to try to remove any five costs so that he can't get the draw from the assessor. Of course, of course. I mean we have to go for it anyway. We have to go for it anyway. I mean we couldn't defend. We couldn't defend with that any. We couldn't defend with that. So it's fine. It's fine. I'll take I'll take the problems that I've created for myself. The treasure was in me so. The whole time. We can throw down slot pot. Faster than my Ash hits the bald. I think not. Which makes a lot of sense. We could we could try a beam ash. Which is not the worst move, by the way. Because it stops it it stops the attack forward level up. But I'm actually gonna do the crazy move and go against it. Take me as much of me knows that's the smarter uh, uh. move, and it's the move I should have done, by the way. I just wanna point, I I kinda know the move I should have done would have just been just kill Ash. That should have been the move that I did. But. But. In my head. He says. Keep trying. I mean, we go down. We go down to three. We go down to three. Which isn't good. It's really not good. In my head. Good. Yeah. It makes sense. To make a copy of this or we could I mean, we could play the slot bot and get that up to five but we could play the ballistic bot which means that we can get this into a, a good place oh the decisions i'm going to play you i'm gonna play the ballistic bot i'm gonna play this on top of 
like this on top of this. I'm gonna bide my time. I'm gonna but I, I I might end up that might be the move I end up regretting more oh, than yeah. any of my other moves that I've ever done. But it's the move that I'm gonna go for. Potentially our opponent plays an assessor here and actually draws two cards. So we might end up regretting. Line up. Why do the moves that I don't want to happen happen all the time? Okay. Nice. We want to be we want to be getting so actually okay so freezes freezes of our opponent are big. If we can take their freezes and use them against them, we're kind of laughing in a weird way. We've still got the ability to use this to try and kill Ash. Of the ages. More freezes! Okay, troll chant is a thing. Troll chant is a thing. Very important to remember. Oh, who's wreck it? Oh. Right. We could theoretically use this or even this to make it so that it's gonna kill Ash. Because if we so if we frostbite Ash. If we frostbite Ash, he kills his own Ash. Like that reckoning move kills his own Ash. We lose a, we lose like you know, these things, but he loses the Ash, which I I will take I will take the trade. Bearing in mind this is still our attack move, so we now play this here, so that we are just forcing down our opponent's resource. And then getting more things on the board. Oh, even elusiveness. I mean, we get that zero cost for this turn, right? So, I mean, we might as well map. I mean, we're going to map anyone. I, I I guess we map the guy whose stats can continuously change. So, we get our opponent. This might have been the changing point. The fact that we've also got a frostbite off of our opponent as well. So, that we can frostbite their move. Like, in terms of that. So, oh, it's a shame. It's a shame we didn't hit. It's a shame we didn't hit the one that we wanted to hit, right? Um, yep, yeah, so I guess we play slot bot onto this ball. We still need to be keeping this option open at the moment. Of course, he still had the upper ash in hand. Pain is nothing. That is, uh, that's not what I needed to see. But at the plus side, I said we can actually just frostbite both of them. So, although he gets a frost, and oh, he freezes. Although the freezy freezes come for me. They also come for ye! <laughs> the free. I mean, why did he. I mean, he, he knew we couldn't block. You know what? Don't question it. Can't leave it he knew we win. couldn't block there. The only one we could block with was Slotbot. So, um, but you know what? Don't question it. Don't question it. It's absolutely fine. Uh, they haven't used their arrow, have they? I don't remember seeing them use their arrow move. So. Not gonna lie. What did we get? All you had to do was be good enough statted. Okay. I mean, we leave you back. I still feel. Oh, does our opponent have frostbitey stuff, right? Or do we go 100% forward with all of this stuff? Try and full stuff out of our opponent and then twist it. Twist it the board and, and hope. I've got no other move but twisted and hope. So, potential frost. Oh, I forgot. They, they, they take it, right? So, Play again. twisted and hope. <laughs> when there's nothing left to believe in, Yugi. Believe. Believe in the heart of the cards. So, we can throw two damage. Of course. That's not what I need to see. But, we can throw two damage in here. We get draw. We need to hope, Yugi. We need to hope. And there's nothing left to believe in, Yugi. Believe. Believe in hope. So, that's shit. I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, we could throw Jerry down for red card. Does red card do enough? Or do we wait for next turn? Potentially, we wait for next turn. Jerry on his own doesn't really do a lot. Jerry on his own doesn't really do a lot for us. See, why couldn't you have been like this? Okay. That is not good. We kind of have to play Jerry. The reason we have to play Jerry is because we need something on the board. At least then that gives us an extra point of draw. I mean, we could have used, we could have used that, but... 
I'd rather have Jerry on the board as a point of, well, I can defend with him. So that's good because this is now, this is now damage. This is now significant damage, which is then going into a red card. So as well as giving us an additional unit as well, bear in mind. So we kill, we kill her going into a red card. Additional units here. It's quite big. Oh, and oh, that is lethal. <laughs> I mean, if we survive, if we survive the turn, that's lethal. I mean, admittedly, if they throw down Ash, we've killed two of their Ashes. It's not to say... <gasps> oh, no! Oh, crap, 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 crap. Right. We can defend. Defend? And sadly, defend. Actually, we, we can keep him alive. We can defend. Crazily enough, I'll do. Oh, that is, <laughs> crazily enough, that is victory. <laughs> Outplayed. Gotta trust your instincts. I mean, God, trust your instincts. He's absolutely right. That was that was crazy. That <laughs> that game. What was that game? Championing. Um, is this an undying? Is this undying arena? Is this undying arena that I see before me? Undying Arena, which is actually devastating because I've got no form of obliterates. I've got no form of hushes or silences. Um, Undying Arena is actually my kryptonite at the moment. It can kill Ezreal. It can cause nothing but problems. I mean, that try. I I am trusting my fate to the Tri Beam Gods right now. Because Tri Beam is going to be my only faces. way of getting through this. Oh, I've got Culling Strike. I mean, admittedly, I'll take that rather than Ezreal getting hit by it. There's no point in playing Ezreal right now because he's not going to actually gain. Like, by playing Ezreal, he can't use his Mystic Shot. So, is it going to be a. <laughs> the, the comedy is the hand. Game. There is, there is, there is two, there is two which are champions, and our opponent has used their, well, our opponent has used their culling strike on two non-champion cards. Now the question here is, do we want to play twisted, twisted into blue card, or do I feel like you know what? Crazy enough, I'm gonna play twisted into blue card. Might end up regretting this. Never lost a fair game. Might end up regretting this. But the serpent he's already used two culling strikes. He's already used two culling strikes. Are we about to see the third, the third and final culling? Okay, right. The culling strikes have ended. We immediately go forward with Twisted. We immediately go forward with Twisted because it then means that we can activate Plunder, and so we can get a bit of okay, There's the. This is Undying Arena. This is without a doubt Undying Arena. I would stake my reputation on it. But you don't have a reputation. No, but I'm hoping to acquire one for this. I have proven my point. I believe I have proven my point, good sir. This is Undying Arena. Of course. Much upset. You know what? You know How close? How close is he? Much upset. Not gonna lie. I mean, the annoyance is that I made this deck popular. Don't you remember the I video from like years that. ago where I made this deck popular? I was like the first guy to do that. He says, hopingly. Right. It's fine. We we accept the fate. So he could throw out the arena. We could throw out the arena, but there is literally no point in us throwing out the arena. Ezreal, but then I said if arena because arena could drop for five. So I'm going to play Twisted. I know that this is probably going to be the bad, bad man mistakes. Mistakes were made. Um, but I'm going to play Twisted. Oh, me in. Twisted into this. If he plays Arena, we do actually... The problem is that I really want to be using the counterfeit copies on this. But part of me is thinking, if he plays... Yeah. So he plays Arena. Which sadly basically means I've got to play this this turn to kill this so that he can't kill Twisted this turn. Because um, by doing so, I mean, we actually have a, a few options, which means that we might be able to level Twisted next turn if, we're, if we play our cards right. So we do that. It's, it's not what I want to do, but I feel it's what I need to do to at least get Twisted through this. So it's not good. 
It's not good. It's not the way. It's not the way we wanted things to go. We've kind of got to go with an open attack. Kind of got to go with an open attack here. Force our opponent down, or try to force our opponent down. Of course, he gets a vengeance move. Why wouldn't he? Um, okay. Oh no, he's doing the vengeance over here. I'm not gonna lie, I was actually expecting the vengeance on Twisted. I'll. Um, I mean, it's because he knows that this is. It's because he knows that's going in. Then he'd rather just like stop the damage, which is understandable. I'm not gonna lie. I can. I can see why you'd want to do that. So, is there anyone we could play who ends up becoming the weaker target out of curious? So, how does one? Clarify weakest out uh, is the which is sorry, look at that. I'm trying to remember how what so strongest power. So strong so look at that. Your strongest works against their weakest, so lowest power. So at the moment in time, we could play yeah, Ezreal. We could play Ezreal, but Ezreal's most likely gonna be our win condition right now, isn't he? I mean we could we could actually play uh, so I'm gonna use this to get rid of his we could actually play Thermal with the idea that Thermal Thermal does that. So we, if we are helping our opponent. We are helping our opponent. But we're trying to keep Twisted alive enough to level him as well. As well as the fact that we are technically helping level Ezreal. So there is, there is pluses and minuses here. Pluses and minuses. More minus than pluses. Let's be honest. More minuses than pluses. So, we got a draw, draw. We got two draw moves technically. Um, okay, we need more targety stuff going on right now. So, of course, that's fine. I mean, so strongest is now going to be that against that. Actually, Jerry now becomes our weakest. We can force this to make Jerry be our weakest. Counterfeit copies is not really doing too much for us right now. We basically lost the best way of using it. We lost the best way of using it earlier on. Um, Twisted only needs to get two more cards. So we do actually have a glimpse. We do have a glimpse that can work with him. Um, which is not too bad. We could, so only two more cards. So we can actually, oh, see the thing is, we leave it because right now, right now, Jerry's our weakest. So right, right now, Jerry dying, Jerry dying is not too bad. Um, we do we do this trade off. We do this trade off. If he goes for like a firm, or like, that's fine. That's fine. Part of me almost wants to see what my opponent does here, but Jerry's the weakest who gets traded off right now. Part of me's like I could technically level Twisted this turn if I use Glimpse, but I I know that our opponent has Fervor, and Fervor is what scares me. I'm not gonna lie, Fervor is legitimately scaring my moves right now we could play Ezreal himself but then like so we could play Ezreal but I'm thinking I, Ezreal might end up being my win condition like in all honesty Ezreal might end up being my win condition because I have nothing I have nothing else so that's fine that's fine we'll, we'll take that we'll take that we just need to hope so he's doing more things i don't mind this again he's still in further range as well bear in mind he's no longer in further range but there is the potential of actually no correction he is still in further range okay that's fine we lose jerry we lose jerry but in so i mean technically we could have actually played twisted face pick a card that wouldn't have been a bad would have been a bad move because it would have meant that we would have leveled from that because now we, now it starts all over again right now it starts all over again we should have done that at the end of the turn just as a so we definitely knew he was leveling i mean i guess actually we level him through which we level him through this so we throw that down i guess we get rid of the counterfeit copies because it's not really going to help us out too much at the moment so yeah we do we do that it forces the level up on Twisted Fate. We can then force yeah, moves. This this is, I'm not going to lie. This is an intense match. Intense match that I'm hoping that I can somehow come through alive. So. Ruination. Oh, no. Crumble. Crumble, crumble, crumble. Um, we do actually have another Twisted Fate in hand. So him dying. We can just like have other options. So it's not the worst thing. Part of me is like, do I just play Twisted? Right, so that is Killer Unit, 
to kill a unit or destroy a landmark. So if we were to actually kill Twisted through this, uh, would it actually help us out in any way in terms of would that still die? Because we kind of want that still to die. We will take Twisted Dying in that way. We'll take Twisted Dying because I, I feel like I, I, I want to make sure I've got enough things going on that I can just still play this. I feel like... I don't, I don't mind that. Where was I? I don't mind that. We can still play this. We've got a glimpse. I might end up regretting my decisions there because admittedly, if he's got like a vengeance or something, I might end up regretting that decision. Um, give us a little bit of draw. In the yard. How much? How many cards? Do we, okay, yeah. Give us a little bit of draw going on. So let's see, see what we get. Let's see what's in the mystery box. Um, we could actually just completely wipe his side of the board at the moment. I mean, obviously, it's coming back. Always bear in mind, it's coming back in terms of the Undyings are coming back and they're coming back stronger than they were before. Okay, so... Red card means that we're going to be... So, here's the thing. We could get... Which is, so, here's the thing. So, we could glimpse somebody. Could glimpse somebody feel like we need to weirdly we need to keep box to push alive or do we or do we not care about box to push because part of me is thinking if i can at least trade Where are you off to? i'll do it we don't really want to do that i feel like we do we do that because I, I basically want my red card to be Deciding the field of play a little bit more. I mean, admittedly, so I might end up. I feel like we might have just screwed this up entirely, which we probably did. Um, but potentially, maybe we still go push it. Maybe we still do this on top of him because I kind of want to keep the others. Like, I might. I, like, we should have just done that to begin with. I, this this feels like this was a stupid move that we could have just done so much more damage in this turn. I massively have screwed up this turn. Massively have screwed up this turn. Okay. Not gonna lie, massively screwed up the turn. There was there was nothing there was nothing genius or smart about this. Jerry rig, but I feel like we play Jerry rig next turn because it's a burst speed spell that's actually gonna like uh, probably help us out a lot more next turn. The this going into twisted okay finally goes down a little bit, but I'll take it. We know that these are coming back even more devastatingly. Okay, so we can at least trade. At least trade, but I feel... Actually, all we... we whoop, throw Jerry. Throw Jerry into the mix. For a bit of burst speed spell going on. You know what I really would really have liked right now? I really would have liked the transform one because we could have transformed one of these into something. Could have transformed one of these into something which, like, you know, like, wasn't the best um so we do this we do this move i feel like it just means that we uh, ruination potentially hits ruination potentially hits but on the plus side we've helped level ezreal a little bit his health is down we could actually use which get the uh, the barrage could actually use the barrage. Actually, we, or we just, I guess, I guess we just play Ballistic Bot. There's no reason we don't play Ballistic Bot here. Because, I mean, we, we can start forcing up. Or we actually start stealing from our opponent again. Uh, I'm going to play the steel move first. Because I said, because we do know that. Okay, right. So, he's got no more. He's got no more um, landmarks. But potential ruination. All these things could happen. That's fine. That is fine. So, I feel that we play I feel I feel that we actually just play um Ezreal Ezreal as much as we wants to play that ballistic bot to get that guaranteed hit on our opponent's core and slowly but surely beat our opponent down to a pulp part of me is thinking we throw Ezreal out actually we can we can throw Ezreal out throw ballistic bot out and then still do a make it rain like we've actually got the option here i mean obviously if we don't go for an open attack we leave ourselves open to a few different things but that happens jerry 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 takes one for the team jerry takes one for the team okay 
we so ruination ruination is an immediate thing that our opponent could do i feel that we have to we have to go forward i feel like we have to go forward with everything we've got because we basically now the players just fo focus down our opponent the players now just focus down the opponent uh they can't defend like i said ruination is like big man moves that our opponent could use he's on one so i mean make it i mean oh it depending on is there heal moves that come in here he could have heal moves. It's important that we know this. Okay, okay, okay. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's not, I mean, atrocity. Yeah, because he wants to make... Okay, he wants... So he wants to make sure that he's killing... Killing all... Okay, right. So we want that to be last, right? Because we want to be... Oh, crap. We haven't actually got any fast... We haven't got any um, fast speed stuff going for us right now. Um, okay... We get rid of you. Let him think it's love. Get rid of you, at least, which can, like, you know, Fimji. We do this. This move here. I mean, I feel like we're we're still in trouble. We're still in trouble. A lot of Barney rubble. Thinking and stuff. A, lo a lot of Barney rubble trouble. A, a lot of Barney rubble trouble. But... We need to do something, so we at least level Ezreal. I mean, I know so that he, I know that he dies here, but our opponent has played this really well. Our opponent has played this really well because they're just trying to lock us out and try to make sure that we can't get any way round the situation, which the it does make a lot of sense. It does make a lot of sense. Forcing, forcing deaths and trades, knowing that they can basically just attack forward with undying next turn. So. We throw out the other ballistic bot. Fact, I am superior life form. Throw damage in. Throw damage in. To core. We throw Join out the slot bot. You want to live. We throw out the slot this bot. And now we go into the hope game because he does he does that, which is which is devastating. But we still we still keep. Keep trades. Still keep Save trades. Oh, Ezreal! Swing quickly, little fish. Okay, so he's actually he's actually going. He's actually going quite big on this in terms of the fact that he's going he's going for that move. Uh we don't mind because the reason we don't mind is because although we could play Ezreal, or do, we, or do we just play Ezreal, knowing that we've got burst speed, rummage, and then just hope that we find something burst speed for it. I mean, we've actually got ignition as well. We play, we play, we play this. We play him. We, we, we've got to go. We've got to commit. We've got to commit to this board right now and just go stupidly insane. So crumble. That's fine. That is fine. Because what we're going to be doing is just going, hoop, and getting rid of, getting rid of, actually, I guess we, hoop, we get rid of, this and this get rid of this and this see what we get give me some burst okay that'll do that that'll do that i mean technically we also just have that that's just gg victory boom 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 toby whoever you are well done on playing that deck that deck is actually a really interesting deck to play and actually it came close i'm not gonna lie that was devastating gg my friend gg so yes, that was the Twisted Tri-Beam deck. Really, that last deck against Undying, like, because that is such an unexpected deck, and I said, like, I did make a video on that deck many patches ago, so there's definitely changes that have probably been made to that deck since then, because, like, you know, it's many patches ago. Uh, I might link the video, but it was actually quite, it was one of my popular ones. <laughs> um, bear in mind, I said, like, there is, uh, I do stream on Twitch on Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays, so if you want to come catch the action live, it's there, as well as the link down below to the Discord, if you want to join the Discord, please comment on this video, let me know whether or not you run this deck, let me know if you make any changes to this deck, I always want to hear back from you guys, you guys are amazing, thank you all for the support, if you're not already, like, I subscribe why not consider it but do not feel forced uh, as well as the fact that there is the podcast that me and janky are doing the link yet again down below so legends of the entire podcast it's just started up if you want to support that please feel free to but honestly thank you all so much until next time bye flash of brilliance that could save me save me that doesn't save me okay say anything from you save me that doesn't save me! Okay. <laughs> get rid of this and get rid of this. Find something that can save me!